Hello accepted students, my name is Mara Baker and I am the Director of Student Recruitment and Activities for the College of Ag Sciences and unfortunately we can't see you on campus today for the ASP but we are going to bring that accepted student program to you. So I am going to show you some facilities here on Ag Hill, some faculty um, and some advisors that you are going to work with if you decide that this is the place that you want to call home. So as we walk around, you're probably thinking, why is it called Ag Hill? So it's a pretty unique spot here on campus because before we were ever Penn State University, we were the Farmers High School. So we were founded as an agricultural school and then the rest of Penn State University just kind of built around us. So that means a lot of great things for our students. One, it means that you're pretty much central campus, which is nice because you're close to residence halls, you're close to dining commons and really you're close to all of your classes that you're going to have that are ag science specific so one of the nice parts about every be everything being so centrally located doesn't take that much time to walk to them it is also called ag hill because you have to walk up a hill to get there so <laughs> So one of the nice things about being a student at Penn State is that every single student gets an academic advisor when they come to Penn State. They are there to be your mentor, they are going to help you schedule classes, pick up a minor, double major if that's something that you're interested in. So all of our departments and our majors have their own academic advisors. Some do drop-in appointments, most do um, hours where you can schedule an appointment with them to kind of meet them and learn a little bit more about what classes that you should take, when you should take them, uh, and all that fun academic stuff. So another fun fact of something that you get to see on Ag Hill is Old Coley's original trough. So you're probably wondering, who's Old Coley? So before Penn State was ever the Penn State Ninny Lions, our mascot was Old Coley, which was a mule. So his original um, drinking chute is still on campus and we're super excited to have it here in Ag Hill. Another big part that comes with being a student in the College of Ag Sciences is that we are really dedicated to research. Our office, the Office of Undergraduate Education in the college, gives out about $125,000 a year in undergraduate research. But in order to do research, you have to have some pretty cool facilities. So this is our Agricultural Engineering Building. It was completely renovated within the last two years, $44 million project, and we're super excited because we are currently in the process of getting a brand new $97 million animal science and veterinary and biomedical sciences building. So it's a two-year project and as soon as it's completed it will have student space, it will have our academic advisors, faculty and staff for those two majors and I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like right now. A big blue wall. So it's a hole in the ground right now but like I said 97 million dollar project and we're super excited for you guys to have access to it during your junior and senior year when you're really heavily involved in your research here. Another question or topic that you guys are probably thinking about is housing. So every freshman that is starting at University Park does have to live on campus for their first year. So you can choose to live with a random roommate, you can live in a random residence hall, um, or we have a special living options. So our special living option is right behind me. So this is called Earth House. It is only open to students in the College of Agricultural Sciences. So it fits about 100 students. It is suite style, so it's two people in a room, two people in a room, bathroom, living room connects you in the middle. Um, and they're really focused on sustainability and recycling um, and kind of what makes the world go round. So if you're interested in that, we have that option for you. Let's give you guys another look at our construction project that we talked about earlier with our animal and veterinary and biomedical science building. Super excited to get that done and get it up and running for our students. So you're probably wondering, how big is the College of Ag Sciences at Penn State? We're the fifth smallest college at Penn State. We have about 3,000 undergraduate students in the college that make up all 17 of our undergraduate majors. So the nice part about that, 
you're gonna have small class sizes. Your professors are gonna know your name. Your advisor is gonna know your name and your goals. And they're able to kind of help you a lot better because you have that smaller class size setting. But you're at a big university. You're at Penn State that is home to 46,000 students. The largest living alumni association in the world. We bring a lot of big opportunities. So you have that small school feel at a very big university and that's gonna help you a lot succeed in and out of the classroom. So now we're walking into ASI, which is one of our bigger agricultural sciences and industries buildings. So currently we're in the student um, computer lab, which all of our students have access to. We do have a lot of classrooms, a lot of labs that take place in this building. Um, and then we also have a lot of faculty offices. The biggest room in this building, we'll take you in. is theater style, but it only seats about 120 students. So typically a lot of gen eds take place in that classroom, but majority of your class sizes could be as small as six students. You might have class with 25, 30 students. Um, and then of course, some of those big gen ed classes, you are gonna have um, a couple hundred, a few hundred, but our students find a way to make it work. We offer free tutoring services. We offer our advisors during those walk-in hours or those appointments that we talked about. So there's many ways to make sure that your academics are your main priority when you're so here. So we talked about research um, a little bit earlier. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick glimpse into one of the labs that we have. But another big thing that our students get involved in uh, here in the college is clubs and organizations. So we have 40 different clubs and organizations in the college. A lot are related to your major or your special interests. And a lot of our clubs and judging teams are pretty successful too. So these cases are full of trophies and awards that all of our competitive judging teams and our clubs and organizations have won. So if you wanna be a part of a club and organization that's successful, learn how to grow your communication skills, learn how to build your resume, clubs and organizations in this college are one of the best ways to do that. So another reason that students love the College of Ag Sciences is the creamery. We are very proud of the creamery here in the College of Ag Sciences. There's always rotating between 30 or so flavors here. Um, and the nice part about it is it's a great place for our students to get a job. Our food science students do research here. So there's a lot that goes on within this building, but it's also a great study spot um, and also a great place to just get a nice treat and reward yourself for the hard work that you're gonna do as a student in our college. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys to do, if you haven't already, is go to www.agsci.psu.edu and look for our scholarship application. The College of Ag Sciences gives out $2.9 million a year in scholarships to our undergrad students. All you have to do is fill out our application. It's a simple two, three page form probably takes you about 25, 30 minutes to complete it. And then once you complete it, the college considers you for every single scholarship that you qualify for. So you don't have to look for which scholarships are for females and food science in Western Pennsylvania. We do all that work for you. So if you haven't done that already, get on it and fill out that scholarship out. So we talked a lot about the resources that an advisor provides for you, but let's see if one is available and let you hear from them themselves. Hey, Chris. Hey, how's it going, Mara? Good, good. So hey. what do you do as an academic advisor and lighten our prospective students? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as an academic advisor, I'm really here to uh, help students degree plan. Uh, if you have any questions about internships, if you have any questions about career uh, employment opportunities, if you just need help being pointed in the right direction as to how to go ahead and craft a resume or a cover letter, uh, those are some of the things that I love to help my students out with. And uh, I don't know, my door is always open, so feel free to reach out and if I can help you, I can help you. Awesome. So that's just one example. Our advisors are always willing to help our students, whether it is with scheduling classes or finding that internship or that job opportunity, making sure you succeed is our number one priority. What's the best part about all of our facilities? They're literally right across the street. You can do research here, here at the Poultry Center. Let's talk about this view for a second. You have our dairy barns, you have our turf facilities, and if you look real close, you can even see Beaver Stadium. Here, 
at the equine barns which is right across the street from Beaver Stadium or even here in our meat lab. All right, let's talk about success for a minute, especially in the College of Ag Sciences. Penn State is very well known for being the largest alumni association in the world. And in the College of Ag Sciences, we have about 35,000 alumni that are willing to help our students any second they can get. Whether that's through mentorship opportunities, internships, full-time jobs, our alumni are here to help. As a college, we take a lot of pride in making sure that our students have the skills that they need to succeed after their time at Penn State. We host one of the largest career fairs out of any other college here at Penn State, where we bring in 140 employers that are looking to hire Penn State Ag Science graduates. Whether that's for an internship or a full-time job opportunity, we're here to help. The College of Ag Sciences has so much to offer you, and so does Penn State as a university. Being home to the largest alumni association in the world, there's so much that our college and this university can offer to you during your four years here, and then also after for the rest of your life. So think about it. We'd love to have you as part of the class of 2024. What do you think, Lion? You think they should join Penn State in the College of Ag Sciences? I think so too. I hope you had a great time following us around today, learning a little bit about what life will be like as a student in the College of Ag Sciences, and we hope that you accept your offer soon. So we are back at the ever so famous Ag Hill sign, and I just wanted to let you guys know I will be sending out a folder full of information about how to make that decision if Penn State is the place for you or not, and we really hope that you call Ag Hill home this summer or fall. See you later.